Welcome back to episode three of the Ikuru Difficult Playthrough. Uh, last episode, we had some trouble where we lost our Admiral and my only ship, my cruiser. So we're going to see if we can remedy that somehow. Let's uh, talk about my situation. I have two colonies, the original colony and the really good independent Akdarian uh, colony that we picked up. We want to get this human colony. We just don't have enough money yet to do it. As soon as I get to about 37,000, I can try to uh, bribe them and take that colony. There is a colony ship hovering over the colony, so that should happen very quickly. The only problem is that colony has a terrible quality. So the uh, suitability is below 20. So we really need to research our colonization technology that allows us to terraform colonies to make that viable. So that's going to be another big thing we're going to do. But I really, really, really want to defeat these pirates that have been bothering us and stealing money from us, the Harmonious Void. And again, this is because of a mistake I made early game where I was given a choice and it went by too quickly and I waited too long to do the choice. And now we're at war with these pirates that I could have been at peace with. So that's my my tasks so far for this episode. So that's a big, tall order to take care of. We're going to start with reviewing what happened. Um, I ran the game for about a year after the last video, just uh, advancing my technology a little bit. And we finally finished, if you remember from episode two, a research station. So in my home system here, if I zoom in my home system, and I look around, you'll see here it is. There is, I think it's here, mining station there. And there it is, my research station. So that's my new research station. So now my research is up to 151. So I'm really excited about that. There it is. A 9% shield bonus as well as just 33 research output. But even more exciting is the research base that we lost our Admiral and our ship at. And that's coming along. It's getting built by my constructor ship. We're going to take a look at that next. So let me hit delete to go out. And I think it's right about here. Yes, the lean tar system. And let's check on his progress here. So I believe there is the base. By the way, I found my ship. So after I loaded the game, I found my cruiser. It's actually over here. It's over here in the other planet in this system. Here it is. So it's it's being run by the independent star base that I'm, a spaceport that I'm trying to repair, strangely enough, even though it's damaged, it seems to be running this. So this, my cruiser has now become an independent cruiser and my admiral presumably is a prisoner. But I'm hoping I get both of them back when I get that spaceport finished. So this ship is actually doing us a favor because it's protecting us and it's attacking creatures in the system, which is great. That'll leave. So it's inadvertently protecting my constructor ship here. And let's see how his progress is coming along, right? So if you hover over here, you'll see only 26%. So it's going to be a long time before I get this spaceport but it's a great investment, and uh, when that day comes, we'll hopefully get our cruiser back. At that point, the cruiser might not be valuable enough to keep, and I may want to scrap it for technology. I do that with any frigates or escorts that I find, any derelict ships that I repair or find, because they're much more valuable as technology. But the cruiser was pretty valuable because it's, first of all, my only ship, and second of all, it's relatively strong for an early game um, situation here. So I I wish I could get it back, but we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, my techs are almost gone. So let's take a look at some techs. Let's uh, plan out my next technology. So really, I, I want to get rid of these pirates. I've had it with these pirates. So I'm going to go right to combat. And as I mentioned in the previous videos, I am going to use beam weapons, which is a specialty for... It's a unique technology. The, the level of beams, the types of beams, is a unique technology for this race. Uh, and we're going to go right, I think it's right here. Yeah. So I'm going to really try to target this focused beam projection. There's an, See, there's another arrow feeding it, so I need to research some other things before I can get to this. This is a tier 3 weapon. 
So, I'm, and, and what's nice about this is I can get a large right away, although I'm not sure I can fit a large in a frigate. So maybe that won't be too useful, but the medium one still here is pretty powerful. Uh, yep, with 14 damage, but shooting two shots per volley and a volley rate of 0.25 seconds. That's really fast. Uh, but the range is, is pretty reduced. I think the range here is only 1,300 compared to 1,900 for the large weapon. So we're going to be at relatively short ranges, but that's okay. But let's follow this other arrow, right? So this I can't click here until I see what else is required, which is way down here. Wow, it's really far down there. And it's this looks like this quantum exploitation. Okay, so and fusion physics. So actually, I don't know how good of an idea this is to wait for all these things. Um, but I will take this because I do, this is almost done anyway, and I do need a better reactor. So the reactor powers your ship. If this is underpowered and you have a pretty powerful hyperdrive, for example, or a lot of heavy weapons, you may not be able to power them all or use them all. So you don't want to let your your reactor technology get too far behind but wow that's a lot of prereqs for that weapon so i don't know if we're going to be able to wait for it well we'll pick this and we're also going to go down to uh yeah to the actual we're working on fighters to oh i actually so i had removed that i need i need to put it back on again i want to get fighters i mean i turned it off because i don't want to get fighters anymore because i don't have my cruiser anymore so i disabled this uh, off camera here, but I do need system patrol starship. So we're going to grab this technology, which will give us frigates. Uh, escorts, I think, are just going to be too weak to try to take out the pirates. I don't even know if I can do it with these frigates. I may jump right to destroyers, but again, um, I have to decide what I'm going to do with my beam weapon because the prereqs for that really good tech are pretty tough, right? They're pretty tough. So, all right, that's enough for now. These two are going to finish. By the way, as soon as basic transport system is available, I'm going to get res resort bases, and I'm going to start building those. That will give me some bonus cash, which I'm in desperate need of, so I can rush all my other techs, or at least my lower-level techs. Another great low-level tech here is this trace scanner. I like to use it instead of the um, short-range scanner because I think it's a little smaller, but more importantly, it does 5% damage. So I'm actually going to grab that as part of my combat routine here. So it's going to give me a 5% damage increase to my weapons and also a 5% targeting. So that's a big plus. I really want this improved colonization too, as we mentioned earlier. I'm sorry, this one here. Uh, but I, I want to kill the pirates before I do anything else. So that's enough for now. This will take a little while. These patrol ships take a little while. So I'm going to let that run. But we're going to come back and revisit research pretty quickly. Okay, so here we go. Let the game run. I'm going to go at four times speed. I'm going to try to make sure I don't miss any important... Yeah, we know. We're losing stuff from the from the pirates. I don't want to miss any important uh, messages. But there's not much net to do now except grab this human colony. Again, if I do, I am going to be hurting a little bit for money because, as I said, it's not the best suitability... Uh, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I got basic transport. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game just to show you this. So I believe I can build resort bases now. Oh, now I'm missing. So let me go back to tech. So I'm, I thought I had everything to build resort bases, but I don't. So let me go back and see if there's something inexpensive I can do. I know I need, uh, oh, I know. I need expanded space stations. That's right. See, there it is, resort station. Clicking this one. And I'm going to actually move it up because it's more important than my patrol ships, which are going to take a while to build. I need this money desperately. Uh, yeah, and construction yards, too, are really good, too. All right, and then the other specialty is this, uh, this path here, right? So, uh, as you can see, instead of normal damage control, we have this organic hull, which is really great. Uh, offsets a lot of damage to our hull and repairs our ship pretty quickly, so I'm going to invest in that eventually, too. I don't think I'm going to need it for the pirate base, which is really a one-off. Fast mining, really important, too. Uh, this increases the mining rate. So all this stuff is good, but again, we don't have a lot of research, although we're much better placed now at 150. And I, like I said, eventually this will go up when I get that last extra research, research base. Uh, and again, always be checking here. So, you know, interesting enough, it says I can build a base here and not use that base. Okay. So let's see what happens if I try to do that. So I'm going to jump back here. 
See, I thought this was working as a research base, but actually it's a spaceport, so maybe not. Or maybe once it becomes active, it would supersede my research base. But I think I can build a research base right now. So let's grab one of my ships. Uh, see, you can if I click, a, so you can see this guy. He's going to build a mining base, but he's not. He hasn't grabbed any of the cargo yet to do it. So I don't want to interrupt this guy. He's probably very close, if not there. Right, his speed is eleven, so he's he's ready to go to build this. But if I go back to here, this ship hasn't even begun to do it. And I would want to check where he is, but I don't really care because my empire is not that big, right? And he's pretty loaded with fuel here. So I'm going to come here, right click and say, build a research station. And, or actually better yet, I'm going to click here and say, build a research station at these coordinates. So we'll let that run. I will switch this back to auto. So when it's done doing that, it will continue. So let me hit delete. All right, let's let the game run. I'm looking to get this, like I said, up to about 38,000. Yeah, let's see what we lost again. Uh, nothing. You know, it's because you keep stealing everything. Uh, yeah. Okay, so there's 35,000. Oh, again, and I always want to be checking for new resources. So I do like to manually do this. There's plenty of things that my, my, my ships, in fact, I may build more constructors, but again, with money and maintenance so right on the edge here of what I can afford. I'll probably delay that a little bit. Okay, so there's plenty for these guys to do. So if you look at over here, they're not even close to the ones I clicked earlier. There's five guys working on it here, five constructor ships. So, okay. Now I think I can afford the humans at 37,000. Let's see, independent colonies, humans, speak to them. I can, okay. So I'm gonna be able to colonize them immediately. It maybe isn't the smartest thing to do. As I mentioned, the if I click over here, the suitability is only 19. You need 20 minimum to be profitable. But that also means because we're so close that it probably won't be that bad. And the population will begin to grow much quicker once they're my colony. And I get a spaceport there, right? I'll be able to build a spaceport, which is extra tech. So it's going to be worth it. So let's do that. Let's accept this large gift here. Offer a free trade agreement, even though I don't really need to. They're at 100%, but that's just going to lock it in. I'm going to double click on the colony because my colony ship is here, or it should be here. Yep, there she is right there. Okay. And I'm going to hit right click colonize. We're at 100%, and he's so close that it won't have time to degrade if it would even do that. And we're going to get our third colony. So that's one of my goals this episode. There we go. Okay, and we also got some research unlocked, continental, oh, enabled research in this. All right, let me take a look at what that is. But uh, before I do that, actually, I want to build a spaceport. I'm going to manually put it here. Not that it matters, but I like it on this side. So I'm going to build a small spaceport. I know it says build a research station, but you can't, as you can read at the bottom there. But spaceport I can, and that will, when it's finished, right, give me about... Uh, 16 research here. Don't forget to always check your scientists. Make sure they don't have any negatives that are a problem. Mostly I'm looking for negative all research. And of course, this guy has positive all research, which is great. He's the best scientist I have because of that stat there. All right, so we're good. I think we're good. All right, so we're going to let it run. Oh, by the way, let's see how much money we're losing. So we're losing about 2,000 here. Losing 2,500. So, as I mentioned, that's not good. But once this crosses 1,000, and we're pretty close. Uh, yeah, once this crosses that, I think we'll get, this will reduce drastically. And, of course, once my uh, development goes up, and it will quickly once the spaceport is built and freighters start bringing in resources, this will go up pretty dramatically, pretty quickly. So, this 2,000 losses hurting me but it will quickly go away or be minimized. And yet these will grow very quickly and eventually to become profitable. Okay, another raid and we're almost to this advanced nuclear fission. That's great. Again, my, my ships will automatically upgrade. I, I don't have any combat ships, so all my other ships, civilian ships will upgrade automatically, including my explorers and my constructors. So not that they're in need of this right away, but they will upgrade all the same. Now, luckily I'm maintaining this. I guess my second colony is doing a little bit better here. 
and I'm already down to negative 1800, which isn't bad, right? So I'm still maintaining this plus 2500, which is great. And that means that I'm got maximum research potential here. So everything's going pretty well, actually. All right, so we've got our third colony here. That's great. But I really need to get these techs going for uh, my combat ships. I really need to finish this st space station here, which is looks like it's 72%. There's that constructor ship we were talking about. Let's see if it actually, we're so close. Might as well, we've got nothing else to do. Let's see if it actually works. Let's see if I was mistaken that you have to have that spaceport in order to make a research base. I bet you I was wrong, which is great because then we're going to get this right away. So just to show you, right? Uh, yeah, there's my five, my three sp spaceports, that new spaceport, which just got built right here. There it is. So we're up 15 already. That's 172. And then we're going to get another, if this works, if this works, we're going to get another 33 here plus the 10% bonus to all research, which is going to be great. So we'll probably break easily break 200 and that will give me a huge advantage and maybe I can get some of these early combat techs going and finally get rid of these pesky pirates all right let's see if he does it he is okay this is excellent great so this and this may have may or may not the spaceport probably does have some research on it so when I get that I will also get some additional research but this will do what I was hoping that spaceport would do once it's done, and we'll see it in a few seconds. Our ships will now have to eliminate the defense platforms without additional aid. Okay. I don't know where what that message has to do, so let's hit show me and see what this is. We'll come back here in a second, but where are we talking about? Oh, here. Okay, so this is... I must have missed the event a little earlier. <clears throat> let's see if I can find it. No, I don't see it. So, But anyway, these are... Yeah, they're not anything but peaceful, so they're hostile... This planet would be probably good if I could uh, examine it. So someday in the future, we'll take these out and colonize this. It's a forest planet, which my Akuro love, and it's probably a pretty good uh, suitability. Let's see where it is, though, because uh, I didn't even know this before. Oh, it's right at the edge there. Okay, good, great. We get that eventually, because that's, that's going to be mid-game or late, early game. We're going to have really good colonies all in one section here. It's a very nice position I'm in. Again, if I can just get rid of these pirates and then work on my colonization technology. All right, let's let this go. Oh, I wanted to see this base. Yeah, so it's almost done. Oh, sorry, that's a mining base. Oh. All right, maybe I'm dreaming here. I thought this was the research base. I thought we told them to build a research base. Let's see. Yeah. Very strange. Okay, I might. Have, you may have seen me right click, miss right click something. All right, I'm not sure. Let, let's say build a research station. Okay. So he's gonna have to go off and get some more cargo to do that. That's gonna take a while. Yeah, I don't want to put him on auto because if I put him on auto, he might retrofit, which isn't the end of the world, but it's just going to delay me seeing what happens here. All right, very strange. I must have clicked mining station and not been paying attention. I'll go back and check that out. All right, so a little delay on this, but okay, so now you can see, yes, yeah, so that makes sense. I thought that might have been a bug, but it's not. So because I manually told the construction ship to build this, this button is now disabled because it's already doing it, right? Okay, so I must have just right-clicked hit mining station before. Wow, he's back already? No, he's, this is a explorer ship picking up some pieces from over here. That'll give us either tech or money or something like that. Okay. And now we're losing afraid of these guys. I'm really, really, really not happy. These guys up. Oh, okay, so let's pause the game here. We found another research location. Let's go here. Let's see what it looks like. Let's click research station. All right. Excellent. Wow. Where is this? It's probably over here. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Like, as I said, my exploration ships are going to start exploring over here. So that's another research base. Wow. That's going to really give us a 
good foundation here for research, which was my second goal after the, or no, my sec, my number two goal here. Excellent. Okay, now it's going to be a long time before somebody builds that. So I'm going to go to this construction ship here. And I'm going to switch him from manual. He's already, he's already got his cargo, which is great. He'll be coming back here in a second. I'm going to switch him to manual to auto build research stations. So in theory, when he's done with this, he'll probably retrofit. And then he'll go to this new place here at Ubas and build that research center. And that will be great. I'll have 30 more from each of these. I'll be into the 250s maybe. And hopefully that's enough to get me quickly uh, into decent weapons for my frigates, and then I can defeat the pirates. So let's let this go. So all good here, right? We're making a lot of progress in research stations, and I'm going to be well over 200. I'm going to get that 10% bonus to all research, which is great. By the way, if you want to see what industrial research bonuses do versus other bonuses, I do have a chart in my guide. You can look there, and you'll see I've listed what we believe. Uh... And someone else in the forum actually made the chart. And with his permission, I put it in my guide. So it's what we believe is those categories. I actually do think I remember looking at the new uh, guide, right? This online, I think here, the Galactopedia. I think they either added it to that or the PDF manual. I think they listed what those are. And so I need to go back and update my guide to make sure it's accurate to that. I think that's the case. I think I believe that. Okay. All right. So you can see what's happening here, right? And you can, if I highlight over these, you can see it's all happening where that spaceport is that we're fixing, right? There was all that debris there. So my ships have finally come along to pick this stuff up and they're getting all these new resources. There's not a lot of them, right? But we're going to temporarily have a little boost to my colonies here. So this isn't like you found a source of this because this is one of the four key, very valuable resources that have huge bonuses. And if you ever find a source for this, it's worth fighting over or building a colony there, even if it's not profitable. Uh, but it's not, it's just, they're in cargo vessels here. And so we've never seen them before. And therefore we're picking up system maps and picking up these resources and it's just alerting me all that. So it's going to go crazy for a while as my explorer ships or freighters pick this stuff up. All right, that's good because we needed money. That's excellent. We're already up to a hundred thousand. Okay, you've almost got expanded space stations. I do, I have it, okay. And I got that from a tech breakthrough, you can see this. So that's why I jumped like that. So I'm gonna go to resort bases now and I'm gonna pick really maybe all of them. There's not that many. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna tell one of my constructors to focus on this. Otherwise it may be a long time before they start doing this. So I'm gonna go to a random constructor here. And I'm going to tell it, so this guy's being, well, he's being upgraded, I think, right? No, actually, yeah, he probably is. So I'll click on him and say, I want you to build resort bases. So he's going to continue to build those four resort bases on his own. This uh, instructor is going to build only research stations, he's going to finish the one he's working on, and then go to that new one. And then I'll just keep an eye on them to make sure that I eventually resort them back to auto. All right, let's let the game run. It's a really good start. I haven't met any AI nearby. Probably will meet somebody over here is my guess, right? But I haven't met any AI, so not having weapons and ships yet is not terrible. I just want to get rid of this pirate. I'm going to be much happier. Okay, so I'm just getting maps or I'm getting... Uh, yeah. More treasure here. That's great. So I'm up to 120,000. Uh, and actually, I may rush this, right? So I may do that. I'm, now that I'm making some decent bank here, I may rush this. Okay, I got to see what's happening. This guy might be damaged, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, he's disabled. So that this isn't going to help me. I'm going to switch him back to auto. I was afraid of that. Full auto. What I'm going to do is build a new one at my home. So I'm going to go to construction yards. I'm going to go to my home spaceport here. I'm going to build a constructor. And then I'm going to double click on that constructor and I'm going to set him to auto build resort bases so they get built pretty quickly. This guy's disabled. He probably got attacked by a pirate or perhaps a creature. All right. Yep. 
That's another thing. Another great thing about killing these pirates. I won't have these stupid messages that keep popping up. Uh, or there'll be creatures and I can go hunt them down, but I won't have to worry about all these pirate messages that we're getting. All right, I'm pretty... Well, I'm going to let this run. 90, 88 days, not a problem. So you see my tech is now up to 217. So these are going pretty quickly because these are tier one and two techs. And at 217, you're going to go through these pretty quickly. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so here is that research station. It is finally built. Let's double click on it. But for some reason, right? It's not giving me the 10%, or maybe it is, and I'm not aware of it. All right, I'm going to pause the game here and look at research bonus amounts. And yeah, oh, it is. Okay, there it is. So if you look, my race, not, not my race, the Actarians that we picked up is giving me 3% because... Um, I was going to say maybe 63% of my population is Octarian, but that seems a little high. But that could be it. My government type is, is hurting us. The leader's giving us 5%. That 4% for my scientists is good. And there's that research station at 10%. So that's great. So I have a net 12% here, which is really good. And of course, I picked up that extra research station. There's one more on its way very soon. <clears throat> so I'll be at 240, 250. That's going to be excellent to get through these. Uh, tier one and tier two techs and maybe enough even to get me to my specialized beam weapons which would make me really happy uh, but let's see what happens yeah now watch the trace scanners which i think is a tier two watch how fast that's going to go 283 pretty quick i don't have that much money that i want to crash all the time right now i may anyway yeah because i really want to get through this stuff quicker so all right i'm going to go here i'm going to crash it yeah, 13,000, I can afford that. All right. So we're picking up a lot of tech here. I don't know if all of it is useful to me at this point, but we're picking up a lot of tech boosts from those debris at this uh, this place here. Not here, but at over here. Yeah, see all the debris is gone. So my ships have picked up all this debris, which gave us a whole bunch of those bonuses, some tech, some money. So it's really good. Let's see how our progress here is, 55%. Okay. By the way, I can check on this, right? I should have done this. So if I look at small spaceport here, yeah, there is a, yeah, there is a research lab right here. Okay, and it's going to give me 16 research. So that's what I'm going to get with that spaceport. So even though I was wrong and I didn't need that to do, to use this research bonus here, uh, it is going to give me some just because every spaceport does, right? Even the... Even these alien or ancient designs always has at least 15, 10, 16, something like that. All right, excellent, excellent. So I'm going to be up to, you know, when this one comes in and then that, that spaceport comes in, I'm going to be up to 250, 260 maybe. So I'm really excited. Okay, got to be careful here. I'm almost running out of research. All right, the last thing I like to invest in after weapons is I like to have some kind of PD. I love the buckler for our cheap early ones. So I'm going to click these two and get the buckler that will go very fast right at 215 this should go very very quickly and you know i don't want to waste it on this constant beam i'd really like to get this so i need to get uh research any two of the following projects okay i take it back so glad i read this must research any two of the following projects early beam weapons quantum exploitation or fusion physics so because early beam weapons are so cheap. Oh, I have them already. So I only need one more. So I have that. Quantum exploitation or fusion physics. Okay. Quantum exploitation or fusion physics. Let's see which one would be cheaper. Probably this quantum exploitation because I'm already two in here. All right. So if I take these two, ah, I don't have enough. Must have 20% reactor research bonus from all sources. So... Let's undo this one and look what the other one was fusion, right? Fusion physics. So if I do now, both of these, I can't, I need one of the two of these. All right. So I'm going to grab this one. I might by then pick up an extra research center that has this. So I'll just do this nuclear supercharging with the hopes that I'll get one of these in the hopes that I get my unique weapon choice. And I am going to pick shields too. Maybe I'll do that while I'm waiting. In other words, after this, because I'm probably not going to have it, because tier, tier 
uh, yeah, this is a different. So these are deflection field generators. These are Corvidian shields. And I want to get those uh, pretty early. That'll help me. And I also want to get hyperdrive technology, right? So I can get to places quicker. So I'm just grabbing a bunch of these tier threes. This is the tier two engine. Can't hurt. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Again, I want to go down this, this um, path for my organic hulls. That's going to be really exciting too, but I'll, I'll put that off for now. Okay, so let's let that research go. But you're going to see this early pulse weapon is going to be like a month or so. Oh, yeah, three months. Very, very quickly, four months. Okay. Let's go out all the way, take a look. Really nothing to do for a while except let this run. I may even go to eight times. I know that's going to be a mistake, but... Uh, I'll try to pause it if I see an important message coming up. But not, not a lot's happening. I really want to get through this quickly and get to combat. How's that last research place coming? Okay. Oh. Now no one's building it. Very strange. Maybe I didn't click it. Okay. Let's do that. And in theory, that construction ship I have that's dedicated to this. Yeah. He, it says he is. In fact, if I double click on him, let's see where he is. Oh, he's building it. Okay. Huh. Great. We got a t tech breakthrough in area weapons. Oh, that's pretty good. We might, I don't know what tier that is. Maybe it's tier one, but that might be worth building early on my ships too, instead of waiting for the new tech I may not be able to get. All right, let's see though. This is industrial research, all right. Almost done. I go back to research here. I'm at 220. There it goes. Two it's upped itself. Sometimes it counts. Yeah, see, it can't. Oh, there it goes. 31. Okay. So now I'm at 252. That's great. That's really good. And plus my bonuses, this should go pretty quickly. Oh, 5.89. Uh. Yeah, so it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna go ahead and get these other three. In fact, I'm gonna move like this. Yeah, let's see how long that's going to take. Yeah, much quicker. All right, because I've, I've got to wait for that anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being a little, so I'm being a little too choosy here. I probably should go with what I have. I probably should go with what I have and, you know, not get my unique beam weapons. Don't wait for it. Use the area weapons that I just found. Probably It's probably like a tier one. Let's see where area weapons are. Oh, no. It's tier two. So it's this Intimidator Surge Blaster. Blast. Yeah, I might, I might not wait. All right. So I might equip my frigates with these. And, oh, see, there's a nice, it's halfway there already. Wow. Yeah, but I might use these airy weapons here. And I was going to say maybe torpedoes. Zepsilon torpedoes, not bad. So maybe I'll do that. So maybe I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to skip this nuclear supercharging. I mean, I'm going to leave it here, but... I'm going to go for these, and I'll build a frigate based on those technologies. Let's let's throw. Yeah, I, I can't wait for that tech. I don't. I don't even know if I can get to it yet because I need I need better research bonus in order to even research here for I think it was reactors or the fusion, whatever it was, to get to my unique weapons. Unfortunately, so it's not. It doesn't make sense to wait for that. So as soon as I get these few techs here, and I'm at three thirty nine, I'm making pretty good money. I'm going to rush this. Crash this is what it's called, really. 63,000. Oof, that's actually a little steep. I may wait a little longer. Yeah, I'll wait a little longer. Well, the rating either seems to be getting less or there's nothing left to take because uh, I have nothing left. They keep taking everything. But we're getting there. We'll have some comments soon. I do want to see how close are we while we're doing nothing anyway. Closer are we on this getting fixed? All right. Oh, it's fixed? No. And why is my ship not working on it? That's interesting. Glad I checked. All right. Well, this guy's getting refitted. Oh, all right. So this is a big deal here. So I'm glad I caught it. Found a whole bunch of ships, right? They all need to be repaired. Let's go take me there. Yeah. So we found a whole bunch of, here's a destroyer. I might keep these two, actually. Yeah, I probably would keep those two. 
And the rest of these we would just scrap for tech, which would be great. And let's see where this is. Probably in that zone, again, like I said, that, yep, right on the edge of my empire here. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff up here. So it, they're going to automatically do this. I don't have to hit, I don't really have to hit investigate like that. They're going to do this automatically. So I can right click dismiss all these. Okay, there it is. But I do need some more construction ships. So you can see I'm spread really thin with my construction ships. And one was disabled, if I remember. I've got this guy building resort bases, this guy building the research base, right? And by the way, I can switch this to auto now because he's already doing it. But I need a couple more because there's gonna, there are a lot of them are going to devote themselves to trying to get those ships. And I want that tech. So I'm going to go to the, my upper colony here. So let's go to that spaceport, the Bellarian spaceport. And let's, uh, oh, it could be upgraded. Okay. Let's build maybe four or five constructors. I'm more, a little worried about maintenance here. Maybe I'll build four. Okay. Let's see what happens to my maintenance. Let that run. By the way, my colony is already down to only negative 1,200 because I crossed this 1,000 threshold. That makes a big difference. Uh, and its development is getting higher too, so that's a big plus. But it'll never be positive or... It may, but it may take a real long time before it's positive. But I've got to get, after these pirates are killed, after I have a small fleet, I'm going to then work on my colonization technology and boost all of my suitabilities for all three colonies. And that'll make a big difference. That'll make a big difference for us. Okay, so at 55%, it's going to be a lot cheaper to crash. So let's go there. Let's crash it. Yeah, it's only 34,000, about half of what I had before. So that's going to go much quicker now. And yeah, I want, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have the better shields. I'm going to have new engine types. I'm going to have a new hyperdrive. And of course the torpedoes, torpedoes plus the area weapons. And we'll see how they work. I don't really use area weapons unless you include the Nova missile, which is a culmination of, uh, or mid game culmination of, of missiles and torpedoes. I do use that one a lot. But it'll be interesting. So I'll be using two weapons I rarely ever use at all. Okay. See, I don't think it's worth almost all my money to reveal an independent colony, but that means there's one not too far away, uh, or likely not too far away. Okay, shields are done. Great. See how fast this is going to go, right? Because that was a tier two, and it was partially done anyway. So this is really good. That hyperdrive is going to take a while. I will crash that eventually. All right, so now I've got, uh, let's see, 13 construction ships, right? And you're going to see a lot of these. Okay, my leader got replaced. Big deal. Okay, so a lot of these are going to be building ships eventually. Yeah, I think well, a lot of them are already. Yeah, see these guys are heading over there? Okay. By the way, let's check on our resort bases here. There's two more to go. Okay. Okay, so this we're done. Wow. We had, we have Yep. Pause. So take me to that ship. Let's see where it is. There it is. Okay. Right? No. We all right. Well, we can go here. So we go to ships here. Yep, you can see I have this frigate which I didn't have before. It's only a strength of 139, right? So the weapons aren't that great. Okay, so I picked up uh, one new ship. And I'm not, I'm actually not going... Uh, normally, I would immediately have frigates and escorts be retired to a spaceport and get their technology. But I'm actually... I have no ships at all. I'm about to get enough technology here to build some ships, right? I have no ships at all. So I'm going to actually keep these, use them, and then then maybe retire them. But I really am at a disadvantage here. I want to take these pirates on and I want to get my cruiser back. I want to rescue uh, the Admiral wherever he is, whether he be in the spaceport or in the cruiser itself. So we'll have to figure that out. Okay, I'm going to make this speed up a little bit. And this is great. I've got at least one constructor working here. Hopefully I'll get some more. This is going to give me an escort pretty soon, but I really want to get this destroyer. Let's take a look at my construction ships, see what they're telling me they're going to do. Ah, yeah, he's building this one, of course. Uh, oh, see, one's heading here now. Yeah, he's on his way. Forceful hero. 
which is neat. Yeah, there he is. So he's going to build this frigate. I wish they would go from the best ship to worst ship, but maybe they figure you get the smaller ships quicker, right? The bigger ships take longer to repair. All right. And here I've got two ships building. Yeah, I have two ships built, rebuilding the spaceport here. Uh, maybe they'll they'll turn on their own automatically. I'm going to also stop this from auto building resort bases. I have enough now. In my resort bases, I have I have a bunch already. Where are they here? And if you go to my cash flow, right, you'll see bonus income. Let's, yeah, tourism here. So you can see last year I had uh, about $1,600 from tourism, which is great. I'm building more here. So that's all from resort bases. So it's a nice little chunk of money. And that's why this is getting, one of the reasons why this is getting so high. And so I can start crashing programs. So I'm going to crash this hyperdrive technology. All right, let's crash that for 71. Eh, it's a little steep, but worth it. Okay. And the other thing about crashing, in case you didn't know this, is when you crash a program, it won't, your your scientists can't, is, but they can't get that event where suddenly it slips back to like 3%, they pursue the wrong path or something like that. So it's nice when you get up to 30, 40, 50% to crash it, and then it'll go much quicker. But again, we're really doing well here, uh, relatively speaking. Now I just lost something, so, so this was at 255 seconds ago. All right, let me see what happened here. So, uh, oh, maybe the research station is under attack. Okay, I'll go right there in a second, but I also want to see this. We have a new independent colony. So I'll back up to see that, but I also want to go here. That spaceport I'm building is under attack. All right, so let's go here, actually. Yeah, here it is. So my, my constructor probably ran away. Now, what was happening is this independent ship, my... In, my cruiser that used to be mine, which now is no longer here, was helping to defend this. In fact, it may show up. Yeah, I don't see it right now. It may show up here to defend the base. Let's see what happens. If not, I may send that frigate over here or once I get a few ships, let's see. Oh, I have two ships now. Okay. So I'm actually going to form a fleet with these two uh, relics, these two ships that we rebuilt. And I'm going to send them here, although I don't know that they're prepared. Actually, they're not enough fuel, so I'm going to refuel them, let them refuel to the closest base. Oh, and there's another one. So let's add him there, too. Just picked up a another ship. Let's add this second fleet. And second fleet is refueling. Okay, good. All right. But my research did drop. I didn't see what happened. I, I hope I didn't lose a base. But uh, I got my three spaceports. Yeah, it feels like I lost a base. Well, this one's under attack, but we don't own that yet. Okay, 23% engine resource. I definitely want to send somebody there. I want to make sure one of my constructors is set to auto re build auto research bases. No. <clears throat> so we'll do this. See, this guy's retrofitting, so we'll do that for this guy. Let's make him build research bases again. So he'll automatically go prioritize this new one here with 25% engine research. That's excellent. Okay. Now look at this. I'm making 10,000. Yeah, it's 10,000 a year annual income. So that's great. That's a really good rate. So I will be crashing more science programs. And one of the things I want to do is I want to get, if I can find it again, I want to get this cruiser back because I suspect my admiral might be on the cruiser because he's not here. See, I would have seen it here. One of the technologies I want to research, and it's a special, you know, it's a unique technology for <clears throat> for my race here, is these assault pods, right? So there's a normal assault pod, and it has assault strength of 75 there. And this one has an assault strength of 75 also, sorry, let's see, uh, boarding range. Okay, so it has more range. Boarding range is 1,500. And the shield penetration is better. This only has a 50% chance of getting through the shield, and this one has a 75% chance. So this is really good. So I'm going to also build this. So I need ship maneuvering, which is good anyway. <clears throat> and I need this. And I don't think I'm going to go for this. This tier is way too high. But at least I'll get these. I'll put a couple of these on my ships that I'm about to build. 
And then I will try to recapture my ship and hopefully maybe regain my general as well, which would be great. Okay, <clears throat> let's let it run. I'm surprised. I thought that my cruiser, which is now an independent ship, I thought it would show up here to fight this Gravelix, but I don't see it happening. All right, so I'm going to grab my fleet here. As soon as they, as soon as they refuel, we'll send them over here. Yeah, this, this times eight is a little dangerous here. And we're still... Nope, they didn't get anything. That's great. Another scenery bonus, so that would add another bonus here. I'm not going to do too many of these. I find that the further away they are from your colonies, the uh, less... Okay, we finally found an AI. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I got to I gotta zoom out and see what's happening because there's also an independent colony that I didn't see. I've got hyperdrive. That's great. I think I will rush this because I'm making... Well, I was making good money now. It doesn't look like I am. So let's, let's crash this. Let's see. Yeah, 9,000 is no big deal. All right, so I crashed that. So that's going to go really quick. And I, of course, just lost credits here again. All right, let me press delete, zoom out, and let's see if I can find... So this, this toggles... All right, there's the other independent colony. Let's take a look at that colony. Oh, it's not showing up. So, yeah, I, I think if you don't explore it... Oh, this looks interesting, too. This will be useful for us. Okay. This system will be useful. We'll... we'll <clears throat> after I get my colonization um, technology that allow me to terraform and put plus 10 on this, it would make Octarians reach 24, so I would definitely will do that, but not yet. And this one's not showing up yet. So I'll wait a little while to see what happens. And I also can't see where the AI is. I'm guessing up here where it's pretty populated. And that's where most of my explorer ships are. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> now I'm going to keep an eye on this fleet. Okay, one of the ships is refueled. One of the other ships, so there's one more to go. Oh, yep, he's refueling. And as soon as they do, I'm going to send them back to this system Right, this lean tar system where I had my the spaceport was interrupted. The construction of the spaceport was interrupted. Okay, supercharging. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if I need this or not. I don't think I do. Let's pause the game here. Yeah, this was to help me get my better weapons, but I don't think I need that. So I'm going to grab these two really quick because I want to build these ships right away. I want to try to rescue and get my ship back before the end of the episode. So I'm going to come back to nuclear supercharging I'll let that go third. Let's let the game run. <clears throat> You'll see how quick this is going to go. It's a tier one tech. We got another one. Okay, good. So we've got another ship. Let's add him to second fleet. Keep an eye on second fleet. Oh, they've got three. Okay. So what I'm going to do is a little interesting there. I'm going to have them come here. I'm going to move them here. And I'm going to, and then override this guy to, from moving here and say, go refuel. And repair and then once he refuels he will then join the fleet here as long as i don't tell the fleet to do something else while wow, they're here already all right so maybe here they go okay so let's see what happens here let's slow it down they should be able to handle this i didn't look at what they have for weapons but let's see what they're oh, a rail gun and a pd weapon and a salt pod oh these salt pods are going to be great hopefully they all have them Let's see. Yes, they do. So I may be able to recapture my cruiser. Let's see how we're doing here. Taking no damage. And the creature hasn't taken any damage either yet. Okay, let's see what happens. It's going right in there. Oh, he, now he's taking damage. Hopefully the other ships will reach here. Yeah, he's doing decent damage. This will be over very soon with the other two ships arriving. Yeah, it's almost dead. Okay, now in theory my constructor will come back and finish working on this. These three guys are fueled. Uh, I don't have a fuel... Do I have a fuel source here? No, I don't have a fuel source here. So I'm going to tell them all to go refuel. 
So they're going to join this guy probably wherever he is. Yeah, they're going to go there and refuel. I'm also going to grab one of my exploration ships here. Yeah, and he's retrofitting, so he should be done actually very quickly. Because I want to figure out where my cruiser went to, right? Yeah, my cruiser was somewhere in this system. It was over here. Now I don't see it. So I want my cruiser. I want to find out where this cruiser is. Hopefully it's still around. So I'm going to send an exploration ship in here once that's retrofitted. There he is. Okay. So I want to come here. He's on manual, so he'll come here, check out the system, and maybe find... Yeah, let's see what they find out. Although these bases have sensors, I would think, so I'm wondering why they don't see the ship. I hope it's not gone. In fact, let's take a look at my Admiral, see what his status is. Oh, yeah, it says he's imprisoned. Location unknown. So wherever that ship is, is my guess, is where he is. And I thought at this point I'd be rescuing him. Let's see. It might show up here. Usually it shows up as like a light gray dot. So I'm a little surprised I don't see anything. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is, unknown ship. Okay, great. So let me grab this. Uh, no, that's just a freighter. Okay, so as soon as my exploration ship comes in, good. He's right there. Let's see if I picked up any more ships while I've been talking. Nope, these four of these ships. Okay, I really want to get this tech. As soon as I get this tech, I'm going to design some frigates, and we're going to come over here, capture my cruiser back, rescue my admiral. Yeah, let's let's crash this. I don't think it's going to be too expensive. No, 15000 Okay. Yeah, when you have this much money and you're making thirteen, fourteen thousand 14000 here, and you've got 300,000 credits here, definitely crash everything. At least everything that's tier 1, 2, or 3 at this point. Because... There's really no downside here. You're making plenty of money, and you are behind in tech. And like I said, it guarantees that there's no go that uh, event that goes down the wrong path and resets this to 1% or 5% or something. So definitely crash these early techs. We've got the money. It's not a problem. All right. Uh, yeah, let's speed it up a little bit more. But yeah, there it is. Okay, ooh, there it is. So these just transports. I wonder where that exploration ship is. Is it here? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to send the ship right here. I want to take a look. I want to get really close and see if... Oh, well, there it is. There he is. There's the Admiral. Okay, great. So in theory, if I capture this ship, I should get the Admiral back, right? So that's my quick goal here. I've got another frigate. Excellent. Let's add him to the fleet. I got, yeah. There it is. So join second fleet. Second fleet should still be refueling. They are. Yeah. And he's not, he's not, not aggressive here. Oh, see, now it says on board unknown. So it, I guess the sensors for this ship is not what showed this. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I think if you get close enough, it will. All right, great. So I don't really need to leave him here. I know approximately where the ship is. So I'm going to let him go and do his stuff because I know it's right about, right? it's right here, right to the, yeah, there it is. So as soon as I get my fleet built, and we're almost at 100%. Okay, great. Now, and again, as you notice, even if I pursue this nuclear supercharging it's a version two, right? So it's going to automatically upgrade. So my ships will get that without me doing anything special. So let's talk about the ship design. We're going to go to ship designs here. There's a frigate that already exists. We're going to ignore their design. We're going to switch this to manual so that the design doesn't get updated until I wanted to. I'm going to use the upgrade button. Uh, upgrade just the AI takes its first shot at replacing all the components and it does a pretty decent job. So we're going to hit upgrade. The only thing I want to change is the weapons. All right, and I'm just going to clear them all out here. And I'm also going to clear out this sensor because I want to use the trace scanner, which gives, if you remember, 5% damage increase. So I really want that. Two shields, two armor is fine. There is one slot. Oh, this is good. Oh, there's two slots. There are two 360 degree arc slots here. Uh, so I'm going to put my PD weapon here. So I'm going to put my one PD weapon here. 
And then the other 360 slot, I'm going to use, oops, that, we're going to go with the torpedoes, yeah. Now, torpedoes don't care about direction, you see, so I don't really need that. I don't believe that the area weapon does either. All right, but let's pick this weapon. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's seeking, yeah. So all my weapons I'm going to use here are seeking. So the, the arc of 360 degrees, which is wonderful, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to put two torpedoes in here. All right, and then... Uh, I need a pod, right? So I need the, um, I need the splinter pod. Here it is. Okay. So the splinter pod is an assault pod and it's going to help me capture that other ship. By the way, you don't need Marines. Marines will add, Marine barracks will add defense to your ship from being boarded, but you don't need it for assaulting. All you need is these pods to assault so maybe I'll add a second one. Maybe I could I mean I could sacrifice a fuel cell. Uh, oh no, I'm 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 way over. Okay, so I've got to get rid of some weapons here. So I'm gonna get rid of one torpedo. Oh, still way over. Okay. Oh, and I need a crew capacity increase too. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what I want to get rid of. Well, I could get rid of an armor and a shield. Normally wouldn't do that. My crew capacity is still over, so. We got a problem here, so I'm gonna have to get rid of a fuel cell and put a new crew cell in here. Yeah, I, I should have invested in, in in tech on my. In fact, when I'm done here, I'll do that. I should have invested in uh, upgrading my crew systems. Okay, so now we're good. 444. Yeah, so that's okay. So we have one area weapon, the large area weapon, which can do a lot of damage. 64. You can see it there. I've got one torpedo, and more importantly, I have the splinter pod, the assault pod. So that's gonna help me capture the ship. And luckily, the other sh derelict ships that I re that I fixed and put into Fleet Two have these as well. Not splinter pods, right? That's unique to my race, but they have assault pods. So hopefully that will be enough. I'm not going to build a ton of these because I will probably redesign these afterwards. I don't love assault pods, although it is unique to my race, so it's actually pretty good. And I would usually like to have much more defense here. So that's okay. So it's a temporary ship. So I like to call my frigates FR. So I know it's a frigate, and when I later when I have uh, different hull types for within this role, uh, I will also put the hull type. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to call it a random name here. I only have one to worry about. It's not a big deal, and it's about as big as I can make it. 444, and we're good. Save and exit. Okay, great. I mean, I've designed my first frigate here, so I'm going to go to the nearest spaceport to this whole action here, the Balarian spaceport. So let's go here, and I'm going to build really quick. I'm going to build uh, three, maybe maybe five of these. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. These aren't the best designed for taking out the pirate base, although it may be enough. But for capturing my cruiser back, this is enough. Now, I'm going to talk about fleet templates later mid-game, but right now, because there's only five of these things, you can either double-click on these, right, and then add them to second fleet like that, or you could go here to military ships, You'll see, right, the five ships that are being built because they're red here. They have zero health under construction. And you can just click, shift, click, select them all, and then add them. See, so join ships to fleet, second fleet. Boom, you're done. All right? So I do a lot of manual uh, shipbuilding until it gets really uh, out of control. So let's let this run. By the time they're built, by the way, I'm going to get a second version of this. Not that I need it. Just take a look at some transports leaving. Okay. So this is going to be the first guy. He's almost done. Let's take a look at what he's going to look like. He's still coming up. There he is. There's our first ship. Take a look. That's pretty cool. And you will see, right, the weapons, the external weapons that I added. You'll see them uh, if you look carefully. So I think that's my PD weapon. I think that's my area weapon. Uh... Yeah, anyway, if we go back to the design screen, you, we'd see all that. So there's my first ship. That's awesome. Uh, in fact, I might as well move all of Second Fleet here. Yeah, I might as well send them all here to refuel. It's close enough to the, to the battle. And very shortly, very soon, I know how many times speed. Here they come. They'll all refuel here. There they go. And as soon as these three are built, we're going to go get my cruiser back. And then we'll deal with the pirates. But I've got to first rescue 
this admiral. Okay, almost done. Of course, I don't know where this frigate is here, but even if he doesn't show up in time, not a big deal. Okay. So let me hit delete. I'm going to go back to the linear system, which is right over here. If I remember. I'm going to send these guys. There's that cruiser. You, you can hardly see it. My sensors are too weak to see it. I just see a, like a gray blob here. Okay. Yeah, this guy's not going to make it, but that's okay. So I'm going to right-click, move here. And luckily, we're not at war with this independence, so I don't think it's going to fire back initially, so I don't have to worry about how I come in. Now, quick, quick, quick talk about fleet tactics here. I am going to override the tactics. I'm going to use my fleet tactics. I didn't even bother putting in the design screen. I'm going to make my attack aggressive because I want them to be close, even though my assault uh, pods are actually long range, relatively speaking. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to make my formation tight or very tight. Doesn't really matter for this. And I usually like to change to be same location. I don't like them wandering off, although there are times to do that. All right, they've all arrived here. Let's put up my speed down to one and let's see if we can see these assault pods. No, they're not going to do anything. They're just forming together, but I will, very shortly, I'm going to say attack, no, prepare and capture, or capture. So prepare and capture just, in theory, prepare gets the ships to all refuel first and, and get together. I, I, it doesn't really matter. I don't really notice a huge difference. I'm sure it is doing something. I'm just going to tell it to go capture it. Okay, here it goes. So, some, I believe the assault pods can pass through the shields, but I know usually they take the shields down first. Right. So as soon as you see the shields come down, you'll see the assault pods come out. Now, interestingly enough, it's not defending itself. I don't see it. It's got weapons, of course. I don't see it firing or doing anything. Interesting. Not sure why that is. It's not defending itself, which is great. It makes my life even easier. All right. So as soon as those shields are down, we're going to see assault pods coming out. Wow. <laughs> that cruiser's not bad. It's taken a lot of damage. There goes the area weapons effects. Okay. okay, there it is. So, my Marines have, my my assault pods have gone in and boarded, but they're outnumbered here, so I'm not sure everybody is doing it. Let's hopefully that number goes up. That's not good. I thought I had more assault pods than that. Now, let me right click and, I don't want to destroy the ship. Let me right click and do capture again. Make sure everybody launched their assault pods. No, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Some more just must, must have landed. Okay. All right. Now the ship just ran away, but that's okay because we still have these troops on board. So let's see what happens, right? I'm going to speed it up a little bit. My troops are winning. And in theory, as soon as it reaches zero for the green, we will have captured the ship and potentially gotten my... Because I can't see him here, but I know my admiral is here. All right, keep going. Okay, that's it. We've captured it. So there it is. The admiral on board. It's got the admiral on board. So Admiral Yurad has been rescued. And we can finally end this episode. All right, that's great news. Now I'm going to add this ship... Uh, let's see. Why can't I add this? There it is. Okay, I got to refresh. So I'm going to add this ship to Second Fleet. And then I'm going to take Second Fleet and we're going to I'm gonna hit delete. And we're going to all meet here before we go fight these pirates. And, and I may refit my ships. I may redesign my ships to do that. But let's get them all back to my capital here, my capital spaceport, which is over here. Okay, so I'm going to hit right click. And I need to repair that cruiser, of course. Right click repair. Head them all back there. I've got a th yeah, thousands, not enough. So I'm either going to build more of these ships, but I'm probably going to redesign them. And we'll do that in episode four. So episode three, uh, one of my big missions. I know I didn't actually defeat 
the pirates, but I did get my cruiser back and rescued my admiral. So that's a big plus. Next episode, we're going to take the pirates out. Before I go, I want to make sure uh, I still can't see the AI empire, and I may also work on taking this uh, colony too. That's So two nice goals. Taking out this pirate base, incorporating this colony into our empire, and then I'm going to work on my colonization techs. Okay, and now we've got other problems to worry about. So somewhere trader has heard reports of the hive, and I am not in any position to fight hive ships yet. Hopefully they're maybe localized somewhere else. I do have to be careful about my exploration ships, which are set to auto, and they may uh, awaken some more hive ships. That could be a problem. But hopefully I'll be able to get all this done, start working on terraforming, get a very strong foundation, get my science back up. It's at 250 now. This will be done soon. And we will then be able to handle the hive and also any nearby AI empires. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, the Admiral's back and uh, good hunting.